Crazy Eats. My name is Chef Eve Deshane, and today we're in the Greener Village's Learning Kitchen with Alex Paelma, uh, chef and owner of Pinot Point. Welcome, Alex, and thank you for joining us today. Oh, uh, well, away. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So, Alex, what are you making for us today? Oh, I'm making for today the crispy pork belly curry curry. Curry curry? Okay, yeah. tell us a little bit about that dish. Oh, curry curry is a dish from a uh, um, traditional dish in Polifino. Okay. Especially, it's a... Uh, in a birthday party and a wedding, they cook in the wedding like that, and uh, it's the main dish. So it's like a celebration dish. A celebration dish like that. Oh. Christmas, New Year's like that, birthday, weddings. Oh, well, that that's fantastic. So, Alex, you are the chef and owner of Pinoy Point. Tell us a little bit about that and how it came about. Oh, uh, when I was started Pinoy Point, I yeah. was start. Uh, I worked before an Acorn restaurant. Okay. As a baker, we back 2013. And then after that, uh, I work at the Irving Big Stop. And when I work in the Irving Big Stop, uh, the cultural market, they open. Okay. And then I apply already for uh, the vendors. And then uh, that's my first uh, experience in Canada to selling Filipino food. It's hard for me because there is, uh, there's a new food here in Fredericton. Yes. But I don't lose my hope. I always, in mindset, that's my passion. And then... Uh, I don't care if there's a, <laughs> a profit or what, but my passion is cooking. That's why, and I, I, I give my best. And then after that suddenly happened, there's a lot of people come and go in my booth, and then they buy and then buy, and then after that I'll join the garrison market. And well, no, and it's great. Fredericton has really grown in the last few years yep. the, with the cultural market, mm -hmm. with, the, with, the, with the garrison night market. Right. We're seeing more and more uh, ethnic foods mm -hmm. make its way through. We've got, um, and, and your stuff is really nice. Yep. I've had a chance to try it once at the garrison, but your lineup was so long. I, I waited too long, and what I wanted was already sold yeah. out. So, <laughs> the, so the kudos to you, and that's fantastic. Yeah. So um, when did you come to Canada? Oh, I came to Canada way back 2013. Okay, and yeah. were you cooking in the Philippines? Was that what you did before you emigrated to, to oh, us? Oh, actually, I, uh, I'm a baker in the Philippines before. Okay. And then um, uh, I have a owner of pastry house in the Philippines, pastry. And okay. then, uh, I'm selling especially the pies, cakes, mostly desserts. Okay, yeah. so what made you decide to come to Canada? Oh, there's one uh, uh, one person to invite me. Okay. Like, I, like already I sent the resume to the owners of the Acorn restaurants we back 2013. Okay. And then uh, there are three applicants, but but I remember th the time uh, when Dale Diker they uh, uh, th he said to me I'll choose this person because I know that person. She know he knows everything. He knows that the the what it called like the the bakery because yeah. she's he is the owner of the bakery that's okay, why yeah, yeah. and then then i know that person this it's i want this then dale they pick me in my resume and uh, they call me and in uh interview on uh like skype before <laughs> so what's the first step in getting this uh curry curry uh, yeah going? the first step curry curry i was all the vegetables okay and i need to cut and then uh, I want to start now for cutting. Absolutely. Yeah. So show us what we're what, what we're cutting and uh, the vegetables that you're using today. Are oh. these traditional? Yeah, that's traditional like uh, Filipino vegetables. Okay. It's gr uh, uh, there's uh, there's a lot of vegetable in Walmart. Yeah. If you want to pine and uh, you, if you want to buy, we yep. have some like that. But this one, this eggplant, you're gonna use this, and we have a bok choy. Bok there choy. Are yeah. There are two uh, like. Pichay Tagalog, we have the, the bok choy, the Chinese bok choy. Yep. It is, it's okay to make the for our kare kare. And we have str uh, string beans. Long beans. Long beans, yeah, yeah. Like, like that, which we call sitao in, make sitao, in my language. Sitao, okay. Yeah. So we're, we're going to start now to cut this uh, for... Uh, for the eggplant. Perfect. So those eggplants are they're, they're they're a Japanese eggplant, are they not? Yeah, we there's like Japanese eggplant, the long one. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're gonna start now to cut like this. Like so they th is it big and chunky? Is that yeah. is that the kind of thing? Yeah, it's so like uh pretty uh, it's yeah, I wanna cut like this. And then like that. Then I just put it on that side for now. 
and, 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 uh, and what are we going to do with that afterwards, uh, oh, Alex? We're going to boil for Oh, boil it? Yeah, okay. boil it. And then this one, we're going to cut it this one, like this. You're gonna uh, just easy to prepare. Well, no, absolutely. So yeah. really quick and simple. Yep. Lovely. So the bok choy. The bok choy um, yeah. You said that there's there's two kinds. Yeah, there's two kinds. This one is the green one and it's a little bit white. Sometimes there's none in the Walmart. There's a lot. Sometimes. Is like there a that. difference in flavor, Alex? Oh, we I think the same flavor. Is it the same flavor? Yeah. Okay. Cause. Uh, yeah. So kind of like a red pepper and an orange pepper. Yeah. Kind of have the same flavor. Same bla yeah. Okay, cool. Now let's talk about these long beans, Alex. I, I, I've worked with them just a little bit in a couple of Asian dishes that I did when I worked in different restaurants. So yeah. uh, different flavor, or do they taste like beans? What's fun about them other than we used to have bundles of asparagus, and then I'd take a long bean and I would tie it in a knot to hold my bundles of asparagus together. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's like, it was uh, sometimes if there's no like uh, green beans here, we can use asparagus. So you can, uh, so you yeah. can substitute? Substitute. Yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah, like, like yeah, you, you use like asparagus for like, uh, uh, fusion, like you know, yeah, before yeah, and, yeah. and combine and like asparagus. Absolutely, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Because sometimes it's hard to find this. So I noticed that you're not using a knife; you're just snapping yeah, it with your fingers. Yeah, snapping like finger, like it's easy, like in the. Philippines. Is it easier, or is there a, is there a method behind that? There's a method behind in the Philippines like that. <laughs> like it, <a> it's <laughs> just traditional, or is it? That's traditional. Okay. Yeah. It's like this. So it like breaks that. where it wants to break. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get some at the bo the water is boiling. The water right? is boiling. Absolutely. And then uh, we go for our pork belly. So everything is kind of boiled together. Yeah, we boil together for now, and uh, we're gonna boil like 20 minutes. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So your pork belly, you just put it in just like that. Yeah. I'll we're not like that. we're not seasoning it. We're not putting oh, any salt or pepper. I wanna put a little bit salt for now. Okay. So. Uh, and I'll go I have a salt. You here. got some salt? Yeah. Absolutely. And a little bit of vinegar. I want to put like uh, one tablespoon salt. Okay. Like that. So you put it in the water, not yeah. on the meat. Okay. Yeah, in the water to make flavor taste. Yeah. yeah. I'll put like one fourth cup. Okay. Yes. A fourth of a cup. Yeah. And make it uh, boiling at 25 minutes. For about 25 minutes or so? Okay. So when do we add the vegetables? Do we add the vegetables? to this or do we start a new pot? Oh, we're going to start the new pot for oh, our okay. vegetables. Oh, okay. Perfect. We're going to let this uh, pork belly do its thing and we'll be back after these short messages. Welcome back to Easy Eats. Again, we're in the Greener Village's Learning Kitchen with Alex, uh, chef owner of Pinoy Point. Um, and we've got our pork belly ready. Uh, ready to go. So what's the next step, Chef? All the next steps, we're going to cut this in like a uh, one inch thin and we're going to fry it. Okay, perfect. Okay. So how long? You said we, we boil that for about 20 minutes or so? Yeah, we boil like 20 minutes and then, uh, and then do we let fry it like uh, 15, to 15 to 20 minutes. Per okay, perfect. So yep. do we need to let this sit and cool down after it's been boiled or can we go right from the boiling yeah, pot? Yeah, we're going to sit down like Ten minutes okay. before you fry it. Like Absolutely. That. Okay. So for now, we're gonna start frying. There we go. There we go. We'll put that right in there. Perfect. And we'll just toss it in lightly. Yep, like that. Okay. We'll we'll everything around. Right yeah. on. We'll put the lid on there. And yeah. while we have this frying, chef, uh, let's talk about the name Pinoy Point. Pinoy Point. Why yeah. did you choose that for oh. uh, your restaurant? Uh, I choose my uh, Pinoy Point. It's particular for all Filipino, the Pinoy. Like uh, Filipino, we call it Pinoy. And okay. then uh, Point, uh, like uh, when uh, we have a, we have a street uh, put in the Philippines, like a night market. Okay, and then yeah. some Filipino came in uh, to pick up your food if you have a store. And Filipino, they said, I want this one. They point the food like I want, like for example, I like, I want spaghetti. He pinpoint the spaghetti. They pinpoint, I want this and I want this barbecue and I want this. 
And what's another this, another that? So, it's a, a, point, it, like, it, point, so point. it's a clever name as yeah. a, uh, the Filipinos pointing. Filipino point, pointing when she wants or when she wants or he wants to eat like everything. Like, I want this, I want that, I want this. They point. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you, you, you can't <laughs> choose. So yeah, I want, I want, I want this, everything. I want these, I want like <laughs> That's a great name. That, <laughs> yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so these are frying. What's our next step, Chef? Oh, the next step, we have a boiled one. We're going to okay. boil our uh, vegetables. Some. Okay, perfect. So that needs just a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes. But for now, we do the, the sauce. And we have some um, pork stock. So, uh, yeah, I want to boil it a little bit. Perfect. So we're just going to oh. turn that on to uh, yeah. onto high for us. Yep. A little bit boiling. Okay. Then. So we've got what about two cups or so in there? Yeah, like two cups. Okay. I'm just gonna check these for a minute. Yep. They're looking good. They'll need a few more minutes for sure. Yeah. And now we're gonna prepare our onions and garlic. Okay. So they get boiled in, so we don't sauté them before we add the stock or anything. Yeah, like that. we're gonna boil first, and the second part we're gonna sauté the onions and garlic. Okay. And I'm gonna sauté a peanut butter. Okay, and absolutely. I'm pour and uh, the boiling uh, stocks on. Uh, oh, I got you. Okay, yeah. perfect. So you always like cooking, Alex? Yeah, I <laughs> always cooking. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's the garlic. So when you're not cooking, or are you cooking all the time? What do you do, or what are you doing now? Is uh, Pinot Point your full-time uh, oh. gig, or no? I'm stopped cooking now, but I have a full-time job. But I'm planning to go back to the market this okay. summer, the garrison market. Then I'm looking for another spot to open another, uh, uh, to open again the Pinoy Point. Okay. Or especially like uh, I want to get some uh, licensed kitchen and uh, I want to uh, display to the, uh, you know, like big tourry market. Oh, okay. Like no, Asian, no. Th th well, that's th fantastic. Yeah. yeah. That's my plan. And that's it. Small businesses, uh, people who have great ideas, that, that's exactly what it yeah. is, is. Everyone is is trying to find a break and it's hard to break into the food Fair market, yeah. especially in this climate where things are getting a little bit more expensive, right? Right. Yep. We're going to cut this. You know, means the onions too. Okay. Did you do a lot of cooking with your mom growing up, or did yeah, she when the I one who showed you how? Yeah, when I was in the Philippines, when I grow up, I always, uh, my mom's cooking my food every time, and I'm the helper, that's why. Yeah. Then start, I know how to, uh, to cook, yeah. I'm going to flip a couple of these pieces. Yep, sure. Just to get a little more crispy on the other end. What? No, these are looking nice. So Alex, did, did, did your parents run a food stall or anything like that? or In or the Philippines? In the Philippines, yeah. No, my mom is, uh, no, she's, but she's, uh, she's love cooking in my, uh, in my uh, home. Okay, yeah. And then especially there are some piece like New Year's Eve, they feed all people in, okay. in my town. Yeah, just always, she's always cooking for the people, for feeding people for free. Oh, well, that's it, and, and that's a noble cause, absolutely. Yeah. So our next step, Chef, what are we, what are we looking to do? We're going to next step. So we'll take that off take and that we'll, we'll, we'll swap that. Perfect. Yeah. And we're going to make some uh, sauteed us. Perfect. We're waiting for the pan to get hot, and it's really yeah. important to make sure your pan gets really hot uh, because yeah. we want to sauté them. We're, sauté. We're, we're not looking to steam those. Yeah, uh, just only the sauce, uh, the peanut sauce. Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Chef, I think these are ready. Yep. I'm just gonna pop them up here, let them drain a little bit. So there we go. So the pan's getting nice and hot, and I don't know if we can catch that in the camera, but you're, you're noticing how the uh, yeah that's how the the, the oil's kind of dancing and, and shimmering, and yeah. that's how we kind of know. Yeah. And there we go. And then that yeah. sizzle, that giveaway sizzle, definitely. And that's what they first the onions. Perfect. And that's what they like that. So curry, curry. You said it's a, it's a celebration food. Uh, is, is there uh, is there a tra an English translation? Is there anything that is it uh, where where other than the celebration food? Where's its origin? Like, do you know how it started? I think its origin is uh, there's a different island in Philippines. Okay. Every, every island they using the curry, curry. Okay. They cooking curry, curry. Yeah. Okay, so it's the the kind it's of the national the national dish. dish. Yeah, like that. And then uh, yeah. So on that, uh, does every household have a different 
version of curry curry? Yeah, there's a different version. Okay. And then they use sometimes chicken curry curry. Okay. Beef curry curry. And uh, we use some uh, pork belly curry curry and uh, oxtail. Okay. Beef oxtail curry curry like that. So let's talk about the Philippines. Did you grow up in, uh, in farmland? Oh, actually when I grow up in Philippines, I grow up in the farm okay. because my dad has a farm. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to we're add ready peanut butter, right? Peanut butter. You're going to go some uh, one cup of peanut butter. One cup of peanut butter. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. The curry curry. I mean, now could you use tofu as well for people who are looking to go? Yeah. A like the vegetables. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, good idea. Yeah. We can use that for the vegetarian. Uh, a vegetarian option. That's yeah, great. Yeah. Option. And the seafoods. So is it always peanut butter, or yeah. can can you use a different type of butter as well, like an almond butter or a cashew butter? Uh, yeah, you can yeah. use the almond butter and cashew butter. Yeah, you okay. you twitch like this. Yeah, well, like a, well, absolutely. But it's good. So <laughs> the, sometimes the you know they don't like peanut and she love almond. You can use almond. Okay, well, perfect. It's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, the reason I ask is because here at the Greener Village, we're always looking to help you the easiest way. So it's whatever you have in the fridge. Oh, so this okay, is a simple you. dish, which is great. Right. But if yep. you don't have, right. I just wanted to ask, it, can you just use what you find in the cupboard? Yeah. So and, and so far, so good. Yep. Right. All okay. right. And this is smelling wonderful, Alex. All right. Can I want to scoop uh, this one, the stocks. Okay, a little bit of stock. A little bit of stock, like this. So that's what, to thin it out a little bit? Yeah. I'll thin okay. So now, right now, all we have is peanut butter, a little bit of pork stock, onions, and garlic. So what kind of seasonings do we add to this, sir? Oh, we get, uh, I'm going to add uh, salt and pepper. A little salt that's and pepper? It. Okay. Yeah, because uh, I probably salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Okay. Very good. Pete in Philippines, they use uh, fish sauce. But I uh, I erase the fish sauce. Okay. Some people they allergy, and I the got piece, you. And then they change it and. Uh, Absolutely. And. Uh, but but if you wanted to add fish sauce, w w how much would you add? A, a, about a teaspoon or a like one tablespoon. Oh, a tablespoon. Okay. Yeah. And then you can also use soy sauce, I guess, because you're just looking for that saltiness, right? Yeah, the saltiness. And you can add a little bit more. So it's thickening up as yeah, it's, it's it, up. A, as it's warming up, and this is looking really, really yeah. good. So our vegetable water is boiling Morning. now. We're so gonna start to boil this first, the string beans. String beans. Yeah. So we're putting what takes longest to cook like in first, minutes, right? Yeah, the first one. Okay, perfect. Minutes for. So we'll just finish up the sauce and get these uh, vegetables boiling, and we'll be right back after this short break to plate everything up. Welcome back to Easy Eats. Again, I'm Chef E, down in the Greener Villages Learning Kitchen with Alex from Pinoy yep. Point. Yep. And we're about to uh, finish this uh, curry curry. So we're going to add our bok choy. Bok choy yep. So we've already added our beans and we've added our eggplant. Okay. So now we're just going to add that. Yeah, I'm going to add that to boil in like uh, two minutes. Okay. Like that. There we go. Perfect. So we'll let those soak. All right, so what's the next step, Chef? Oh, the next step, our sauce is ready. Okay. And we do the plating. Lovely. So we just need Kay. this right here. Yep. Perfect. And so I've noticed, Chef, that you didn't put a whole lot of spice in here, but that's because you're that you're adapting it for our palate. But do Filipinos or do the Philippines do you eat with a lot of spice? Yeah, some Filipinos they eat more spice, some Filipinos they don't want. Okay. But in a specific region we have. Yeah, okay. in northern in a northern uh, region, they use uh, spicy food. Like so the know. northern region is spicier than the southern region. The is southern what you're region saying. is like mild. Perfect. So now we're plating. Yeah, we're we'll right doing plating right now. All right. So let's just get these out, and then I will get this pot out of the way, so it's not oh. in our way. So here we are, sir. Sure. So we you do we do the plating now. Okay this so how much is this going to serve is this is this a meal for one is this a meal a that meal we're going to share for like three people for three okay yep. perfect so uh we're going to use this first in our plate 
we can okay. put in our plate like this. The sauce on the bottom. Yep. On the bottom, we do the decoration. All right. So this is traditional, or is this uh, is this is this a, a Pinoy Point uh, style? Oh, that's the traditional okay. in the Philippines, but uh, yeah, a little bit more uh, different. <laughs> gotcha. Just like this, we do like that. I find it really interesting that the vegetables are just boiled. Yep. Um, I would have thought they were would have been quick fried or or something like that. So yeah. this is this is new to me and this is great. Yep. It's like this. There you go. You're definitely building a pretty plate, chef. Yeah, I like that. Um, can you use other leafy greens? So can, could I go with spinach or, or a different, like a tat soy instead of a bok choy yeah, or something like that? Yeah, we can like use that, that because uh, sometimes it's hard to find the bok choy. Or yeah. you, can, uh, 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 you can use that, especially the, the string beans. You can use the, the, the green, beans one, the green, the green beans, beans and the yellow beans. So okay, fantastic. Uh, and I guess with eggplant, I mean, there's no real substitute for eggplant. Yeah, there's no substitute for eggplant, but you can use the like... The Italian one. Yeah, the Italian or one. Or the white ones. Yeah. Okay, the cool. One, yeah. Could you add, say, uh, some uh, some bell peppers, some like red or green peppers in there? Or is that just something to not do? Oh, maybe, yeah. You can add for uh, for fusion, uh, you know, like <laughs> yeah. different. So we're building this as a as a sharing plate or, or serving it up family style, correct? Yeah, is that how you traditionally eat it in, uh, in the Philippines? In the Philippines, yeah. Like, like for example, in the one table, you have mother, father, your, your brother, sisters in the one table, and you prepare the food like this, the main dish, with rice, and put on the table. And everybody will have some plate on that side, and you can, you can eat all well, that's together it. in a one table. And that's it. and a lot of places do that. And family style yeah. is a gag key. You bring out trays, yes, and then everybody tray. everybody you can grab your own food. Basically. And and it, and it creates conversation. It's You're right. pass me the rice, pass right. me the curry curry. Curry curry. And, curry and, curry and curry. that's the that's the main thing. The people they point. I want this. <laughs> and, and I, I want know, okay. I want that, that's, yeah, oh, that's, that's fantastic. A, yeah. yeah. So this is looking fantastic, Chef. Like this. Curry. And if you want more more top, sauce, just put a little bit of oh. a little bit on top to make it pretty presentation. This looks fantastic, Chef. Um, here's a fork. Same. And uh, traditionally do we eat this with chopsticks or Oh, we can use like spoon and fork. So I guess it'd be kind of putting a little bit on everything like yeah, this. Yeah, like that. And then put like this, this. and I'll have the sauce. A couple beans. Beans and the sauce and the And then just grab a little bit of pork. If you like want this. rice, we have rice. <laughs> oh and then you put a little bit of rice on there. Rice oh on perfect. There. It's good taste when uh, the peanut. Hmm. Yeah. I was sold at pork belly. But well, this is a really nice way nice. to have it as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Okay. Right on. Mm. So thank you very much for joining me today, Chef, and sharing a little bit about your story. Mm -hmm. And uh, good luck with Pinot Point. I wish you success. And um, look out, and we'll be looking out for you at the Garrison Market when it comes up again in the summer. Thanks a lot, Chef. You're welcome. Thank you.